y is equal to fx. So what are the first order and second order conditions? Let's talk about the first order conditions initially. You have the function y equals to fx. The differential of this function could be written as uh, dy equals to f dash x dx. Now the point is that in case if fx, if, if x star is indeed the maximum or the optimal point, then y shouldn't be changing much with a small change in y. I'll, I'll give you the um, geometric interpretation first of all. So supposedly if you have this uh, function like this, okay, and uh, you have this function, this function, okay. Now in case if you have this function, the, the, the slope of this function is positive, okay, the slope of this function is positive. So, not, not think about it, um, x, in case, is, in, case, in case if the slope is positive here and uh, you are standing somewhere here right now, okay, if you move, what is the value of the function at, at this point? What is the value of the function at this point? This much. Hmm? Now, you do one thing. You move little further than this point. Say, at this point. Then, the value of the function at this point is like this. You move little further than this point. I'm so sorry, the, this has changed. Okay. Now you move little further than this point. This is not little basically, but still the value of the function at this point is this and so on. So as you are moving away from x, you are able to increase the value of y also. Okay, isn't it? So as you are moving away from x, you're changing x little bit, the value of y is also changing. So it means that probably these points are not the point of maxima. Okay, these critical points are not the point of maxima. In case if they would have been, then you should not be able to increase the value of y more than what the value of y would have been at this point. Are you getting the point? In case if I am trying to tell you that this is the maximum point, then this would have been the maximum point if you cannot increase the value of y beyond it with some changes in x. Now, let's look at the other angle. Say for example, you are sitting at this kind of a curve. You are sitting at this, <clears throat> something like this. Okay, let me just make it properly. You're sitting at this kind of a curve. As you could see, the slope is falling, slope is falling. Now, the point is that in case if you are moving away from x, you can decrease the value of x, or decrease the value of y, okay? When you are moving away from x, I'm so sorry, when you are moving, say for example, if this is one of the point, and with this point, the value of y is this. Okay, say this is another point, say like this. You move away from x and the value of the y is falling. If indeed the initial point was the point of, point of minima, you wouldn't have been able to find out a point which will fetch you a lower value of y, okay? Because at this point, this was x1, the value of the y is say y1, this was x2, the value of the y is say y2. So when you're moving away, you're still able to find out the lower and lower values of y. You shouldn't be able to find out in case if this indeed is the point of minima. So what I'm trying to say is that if at all, this, this extreme point, x star, which you have found out, it is indeed the optimal point 
then why should not change much okay then why should not change much with a small change in x okay small change in x is given by dx so dy is equal to dy is equal to f dash x star dx for all x okay you have found out the differential now this could only be true only if f dash x star is equal to 0 in case if f dash x star is increasing or decreasing as you have seen in these cases you can't say that dy would be equal to 0 so the formal proof would be let f be defined on any interval a b okay in case if f has a local max or a local min at any point belonging to uh, at, at any point x belonging to a b and if f dash x exists then that f dash x should be equal to 0 what I'm trying to say is this that in case in case if you are able to say that there is there is some function f which is defined on the interval a b okay and at some point but on this a b say that point is x star this f has the maximum value okay and in case if f dash x exists then at that then at x star the value of f dash x should be equal to zero so suppose if we will prove this by contradiction suppose if f attains a local mass max at x and f dash x is good we have to prove that f dash x star is equal to zero supposedly if f dash x is greater than zero then f could be increased by increasing the value of x as you have seen here it is increasing okay f dash x is increasing then f could be increased by increasing the value of x if f dash x is less than zero then f could be increased by decreasing the value of x as you have seen here here when x is increasing value of f is decreasing but in case if you want to increase the value of f you have to move here till x3 at this point what will happen that you will increase the value of x so you are able to increase the value of x in the neighborhood of x's okay it means that you have still not able to find out the local max if you have not been able to find out the maximum it means that at such a point in case if that x star is actually a local max then at that point f dash x sh should be equal to zero and this is the necessary condition for for any optimal but the point is that this is only a necessary condition this is not a sufficient condition okay supposedly if you have the function like this that is fx equals to x cube you can find out what is f dash x f dash x is 3x square what is the value of f dash x f dash x at x equals in case if you put this equal to 0 you'll get the critical point of x equals to 0 and f dash 0 is equal to 0 at this point but note that this is not a local max neither a local min okay you don't know it it doesn't have local max or min so can you say this that this is the point of local max or local min how do you know this it is not a point of local max or local min so first order conditions are just the necessary condition to hold so what we have learned from this regarding is that at for the first order condition to be satisfied f dash x should be equal to zero in the next recording we're going to talk about second order conditions